My name is Surya Vijayanan. I'm 17 years old and this is how I made a bionic arm. I was heavily inspired by real-life bionic limbs as well as science fiction, particularly robotics and body augmentation. However, I knew that with my primitive tools and lack of expertise, I would not be able to make something as high-tech as what we see on the big screen, or in industry, so I set myself four success criteria. I wanted the bionic arm to be able to make a full closed fist, as well as to have the ability to pick up objects. I also wanted to incorporate some form of wrist movement and individual finger control. I wanted the arm to not only function well, but also look appealing in terms of design. Bionic arms can cost in excess of £30,000. I gave myself a £200 budget, less than 0.7% the cost. I based the form of the bionic arm off the biological design of a human hand. I had to self-learn several skills in order to make the arm work. These involve learning the Arduino programming language, coding and building the electronic circuits using an Arduino board, and building moving parts that interacted with the electronic components. For this first version, I built the bionic arm predominantly out of cardboard, and the fingers are made from ice lolly sticks, which I layered together. I experienced numerous problems with this arm, ranging from not powering the circuit properly, to joints in the fingers having too much friction. Functionality, range of motion and design were not met, so I decided to build a second arm. For my second iteration, I reused the fingers of the original, switching out the string I originally used for nylon fishing wire. I found this to be considerably better as it can experience high stress without deforming. I moved the servo motors from the arm into the palm of the hand. This allowed me to incorporate wrist movement and play around more with the design and aesthetics of the arm. I also focused more on the thumb movement, adding in an extra servo motor to create thumb sweep across the hand. I managed to conceal all the electronics within the arm using a water bottle. This gave the arm a more ergonomic shape whilst protecting the electronics. Functionality wise, this arm could make more of a convincing fist, but still not a proper one strong enough to hold onto objects. At one point, I rewired the circuit to be controlled by a joystick rather than a looped program, but this didn't allow individual finger control. Overall, this bionic arm was much better than my first iteration, but I was still not satisfied with the functionality and disproportionate size of this arm to my own. And so I decided to completely redesign the hand section. For my third iteration, I rebuilt the hand, making it more akin to a real hand and constructed the fingers in such a way as to curl into a closed fist shape. I achieved this by putting the nylon fishing line through the core of each of the fingers and wrapping them around small pulleys at each joint, drastically improving the strength of the fist. Overall, this bionic arm looked much better in terms of design and range of motion. It could make a full closed fist as well as pick up and hold onto objects. Now came the fun part, making it look really cool. I experimented with color combinations and settled on a matte black and red design that I was really happy with. The arm ran a looped program code that I wrote, alternating between a closed fist and individual finger movements. At this point, all the success criteria had been met. Yet, I was still not satisfied, so I built a control system. It took many days to wire the circuit up correctly. However, after some intense trial and error, it started to work. Currently, this is what the bionic arm looks like and how it functions. Whenever I move my fingers, the bionic arm will mimic. I can even make it pick up and hold on to objects. The total cost for this project was £194. The circuit can be continually modified, so it can be rewired to utilise electrodes which can be connected to an amputee aiding them.
With stronger materials and a larger budget, this could provide a more affordable solution to this problem.